Fakers LeBlanc many, many moons ago. And the response now is Lissandra. And that is definitely going to be into the LeBlanc. That part is under no review. That means Perks will most likely be on the bot lane, Syndra. Again, there is the flexibilities there, but the roles are starting to come together. The top lane pike is back. SKT, very, very standard stuff, but with some good agency for the LeBlanc to roam around. G2 want this to be a chaos game through and through. I feel like the SKT are so happy with their draft. They have such a strong 2v2 jungle with the LeBlanc and the Jarvan. They should have priority up towards the top side of the map. And I'll be honest, I don't know how Syndra Galio does against Varus. No, Blom. what? <laughs> Call yourself an analyst. So we'll have to see how that one plays out, but they should have a lot of options in the early game. As we said multiple times, the early game has decided how these games play out. So I feel like even with with all this crazy enough coming out from G2, SKT on paper looked like the favorable to be in the favorable position. And here's my epitome of a bucket stylization. <laughs> and we get to see which one reigns supreme and advances to the MSI finals. Let's bash the buckets, boys, as we jump into <laughs> game five between SKT and G2. We got a pike in the top lane. Only level one for both Perks and for Mickey. Here comes Clid. That's a very good flash advantage. SK Telecom. Job done. That's exactly yep. what he wants to do. Doesn't want Syndra to have the lane presence that she does in mid or bot lane. Same choice in the duo lane. It's probably all in from Galio and Syndra's a lot of CC from level two. There's a burst champion as the game goes on. As that's actually in the mid lane. Oh, flag and drag under the tower, but the W from Caps might be enough. The Claw of Doom keeps Caps away from it. But that was so insanely close. Lid's flash is down, so some side lanes can really potentially help out. He was going top, now come back down. Faker gets knocked up from the Unburrow, but look at the teleports here from SK Telecom. Khan is going to be helping out. Caps is going low. Unburrow once again. Clint is the first target. Death from the low. That's going to be first, but the latest of the series. Everybody's in the jungle. Caps goes down. It's a one for one. Now Mata's in trouble. Summoning heal. We'll buy time. Slicing Maelstrom is flashed away from defensively. G2 Esports won't find a bone skewer. They won't find the follow up CC. It's a one for one. Let's pack up and leave the lanes at seven minutes. 5v5s. Why not? It goes one for one, no reset on Wanderer's ultimate. From lane, vision is denied on both sides. Mickey goes for chain of corruption starts to spread. Yankos is inside, but Mickey's the first one that's in trouble. Now Clid is being turned around. Caps is coming in. Frozen Tomb's available in a few seconds. Unleash power plus Void Rush. That gives one to the LEC representative. Mata gets caught in the winds of war, and Europe get two. G2 Esports find successful kills towards the bot side of the map. Both junglers showed up. Both junglers were looking for an opportunity as all of the summoner spells were down. But it is G2 that end up coming out on top. Now, Faker is looking for an answer towards the top side. He's going hunting. Wonder's got a flash available to him out of vision. Posed by a lot of Alice. Alan's desk, in fact, of can SKT win if it's not about Clid in the early game? Because right now, Clid is pretty significantly behind going a warrior and champ build, so it'll be squishy. So be taken down by a lot of the burst damage. Lots to like about G2's position, and they take the first Drake. Of oh, the game. here's Wonder. Fake has got flash available. He's rooted in place, caught by Lissandra. Ultimate, and he's killed from below, pushing the wave as well. The roaming pirate. Picks up a kill onto Faker. Mata does get caught by the stun, but no further follow. And this is something we're going to be seeing a lot from Wonder. He doesn't care about the 1v1 matchup. He only cares the outplays. I think it first set up around the Rift Hell, but it was spotted earlier than expected by G2. Let's see what their response is as it's down to about 6,500 health. Not enough members yet. Perks is going to be content pushing those turret plates in the bottom lane. Rift Herald conceded here by G2 Esports. As, uh, it's just before 14 minutes. It is nearly a 3,000 gold lead, and Tower First Blood bonus will go to Perks. But obviously, the Rift Herald counter push will help out SKT. We'll get solo gold onto the Varus, you would imagine. They could follow it in, but I don't think it's worth it at this point. It's kind of going to be a cataclysm and a prayer, not much more to respond as this more damage centric Jarvan build. Mid lane. All right, Faker gets caught up by the Bone Skewer. Insta cast by Cap. One, two dunks for Wonder. He's four and zero. It is at the cost of Caps' life, but Khan's able to escape Scatter the Weak and the Bone Skewer. That was by such a close margin. The tower is still alive. Those. Here comes Khan, slicing Maelstrom available. Unleash power from Perks. He's in trouble, going low. Playing Mickey, using the ultimate to jump down. Wonders unstoppable. Five and zero on the pike. G2 Esports are up 4,000 gold, and they may not be done sieging the towers. SKT are doing what they can to find advantages elsewhere on the map, but G2 are just saying, unfortunately,
that you either fighters or you die. And in either situation, it is G2 who are coming out on top. They don't care about losing these objectives. They don't care about losing these towers. All they care about is for whoever he can find and perks as the target. All right, Perks still has Flash available to him. Throws out the ultimate. That's the hourglass used by Khan. Chain of Corruption catches one. That's a kill into Yankos already. Advantage SKT. LCK are turning this one around. Despite the 5,000 gold deficit, they've got enough now to turn the pressure back onto uh, G2 Esports. G2 couldn't actually get in the fight and actually have Wander play a role, and Caps might actually be caught in transition. All right, let's find out what he can do. G2 grows stronger. As you rightly said, Papa Smithy, G2 are looking very good right now. You can see they're nearing completion on their second items, and Wonder is so terrifying at this point, especially when the map comes dark. The Observers have an opportunity to just toggle the SKT vision, everything in his power, to turn this game around. And all of a sudden, Faker is in a little bit of trouble. Unleash power from Perks. He's almost yeah, back to his solo killing ways onto Faker. Prey Seeker from Yankos actually goes for Europe as a region. All right, let's take a look at this. Bone Skewer comes out. Cap steps forward. Hourglass is already used, but it feels like this should just be it. Not yet. Good flash from Khan that keeps him alive. Buys enough time for Cleared and Marta to arrive in support. Syndra and blow one person up. Varus needs time. Can SKT buy that time for 10? Wow, look at Caps. He's coming in from outside of vision. Bone Skew has already caught Marty. He's going to buy time. Mickey gets a three man taunt. Caps is waiting for the ultimate for that. Khan throws down the maelstrom and uses the hourglass. That's a shutdown on Wonder. He can't do more, but it's a trade. Top laner for top laner. Another fantastic taunt from Mickey. Three more die in favor of G2. Marta is running for his life, and G2 turn to burn more objectives. Four members on the SKT squad die after taking down Wonder, They thought that, that was it. They thought they could turn it around. But the damage from Caps and Perks was still there. Yankos with the beautiful flash knockup to set up the rest of the team to find the execution. SKT falter, G2 extend the lead. Europe, your once vilified G2 Esports is on the verge of taking down SKT thanks to plays like this. And Khan, if you watch, Mickey starts it off perfect top flash. Khan plays this perfectly. Notice he gets the stasis up and ult beforehand to try to control. We're on the uh, Inferno. We are indeed. It's actually picked up by Faker. Yankos is buying some time. Wonder manages to get the bone skewer. Yankos is buying some time, but at what cost? Khan is now stuck inside the pit. Mickey gets once again another good taunt. But the dragon was picked up by SKT. Caps completes the teleport, is running for his life, takes the glacial path out. G2 may consider a re-engage because Teddy's not here yet. The skewer catches Mata. Where's the ghost water dive? Not waiting for it yet. Getting caught by these taunts. Bone skewer goes up, but that's a big miss from Wonder. Can't found the damage on the back end, though. Slicing Maelstrom hasn't got any kills. Yankos is buying some time, but at what cost? That's a great scout of the week. But it's SK Telecom that are winning the fight. They turn their attention to Mickey. He goes golden for a few seconds. Wonder's done nothing. He's been watching from the sidelines. He finally gets a kill, but he doesn't get the reset. Now they're trying to turn it around. That's two for Wonder. He turns it back. Clint escapes with his life. All of a sudden, Caps is left alone. Teddy, look at that auto attack. Red attack, chat. And G2 goes flat. From 7,000 gold down, they win a team fight. They actually keep Teddy alive. And the flank from Khan was what it started off. Drake, also, just look at the amount of wars that they've invested towards the top side of the map. While gaining control of these tier two towers, they completely littered the enemy jungle with all this red side vision. All right, Mickey's now going to be in a little bit of trouble. Forced to flash defensively. Of G2's gold lead, most of it's on Caps. He's gone in. Mata's caught out. Teddy's been able to flash for now. Caps uses the self cost on the ulti. And Khan, he managed to get the Fighting Nails to walk. It's a wonderful one so far. The Wonder's still alive. That's a three-man stun from Perth. The Bone Skewer sets another up. They've traded top for jungle. Clint is down. Yankus goes up, and he can't take down Faker. So far, it's a two for two. Wonder's running for his life. He can't find the stun. Two for three at the end of the fight in favor of SKT. And it's SKT that are continuously coming out on top of these fights. Wonder now has just spotted Marta. All right, he has indeed, but look at the stun. That's just massive. Teddy gets the shutdown goal. Six, one, and five. The Gold lead truly does available, and he may need to just his punch over the wall. Baron has been interrupted. Teddy is trying to step forward. The taunt is going to come out. Caps is trying to find the kill. Mata's in trouble. Fake is low, but they've already got one into Mata. Where is Teddy? Follow his HP bar. Khan flashes on the wall. Teddy's dead. Yankos is in the pit. G2 Esports have been gifted and donated a Baron from SKT. That's a dunk from one of oh, the Baron in 
overpowered minions are pushing it's into the face. They can't be dead. Champions can fall. It's true that I call them face time when they need something real. Champions. I'm with the main ship till late in the PM. I'm California dreaming.